Hello there and welcome to the latest CBS instruction video. Today I'm going to be talking about our electric vacuum pump and I've set it up on a board here um, as a mock-up of how it will be in the car. Uh, I've got a battery, some crocodile clips on the negative and positive. This is the pump. Uh, it would be rubber mounted but it's just sitting on this board here. Two wires from the pump connected to the relay and this is the vacuum switch which switches off the pump when the vacuum is reached this is a diagram that you receive with the vacuum pump it's got the relay here and the terminal numbers which you can clearly see on the back of the relay if you look next to the terminals this is an inline fuse which goes to the positive of the battery this is an earth, which is an, in effect is the negative of the battery. The aluminium body of the vacuum switch should be earthed because there's only one terminal on the top of the vacuum switch. So if you follow the wiring here, we've got, we've got the single terminal on the top of the vacuum switch connected to terminal one on the relay, terminal two on the relay, goes off through the fuse to the battery and also on terminal two on the relay we doubled up the wires on that spade terminal goes off to the red wire of the pump and terminal three on the relay has two wires one goes to the body of the vacuum switch which is earth and also to the negative terminal of the battery which again is earth and terminal five on the relay just goes off to the black wire on the pump. Okay, I've connected the pump to the vacuum switch with a short length of hose here. I've connected to the smaller of the two unions. That's the inlet on the pump. The larger one is the exhaust on the pump and you can put a, a silencer or a filter, breather filter or something like that to quieten it down. Either side of the switch you can connect to. I've connected to this side for convenience. The opposite side, will go off to your servo. Because we haven't got a servo here, I'm just gonna put my finger over the end of the vacuum switch uh, to simulate a full vacuum. Okay, let's connect up, see what happens. switches off. If I put my foot on the brake, release the vacuum from the servo. That's it. 